Change is everything. Change is the mainspring of evolution, the foundation of life on Earth. But nature's symmetry depends on exchange. We strain the perpetual cycles by taking more than we give. We lessen the sources of existence for ourselves and for coming lives. Do we realize that we need to change? That we must reinstate ourselves into the natural balance? Do we realize that we have everything it takes to make a difference? That we can effect change? As our motivation to change grows, our longing for real change intensifies. Change challenges our capacities, our modes of development. It involves all our innovative energy. Change presents opportunities everywhere to every one of us. Our chance to change is now. Change for good. I was told that God somehow gives to each and every one of you some momentum, some chances. Whether you realize it or not, these chances may just pass. If you are not paying attention, if uh, for those people who grab this momentum, this chance, you will be successful, personally, or in your career, or in your family. I believe that this is a momentum. There must be a momentum that God has given to all of us to change, to keep this planet Earth, the only planet Earth which, on which we are living. The only planet Earth we will have to hand over to our children, grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren in a more hospitable way, environmentally sustainable way. I would like to salute and congratulate the Sustainable Development Pilot Hero Award program. I wish the World Pilot Hero a great success. I wish the World Pilot Award a success, a big, big, big success. William Tagamba, Minister for Water and Environment in Uganda, and the leader of the delegation from our country, and I wish you success. Well, I am from Indonesia, and I think sustainable development is something very, very important. So anybody who works to maintain sustainable development is a real hero. So I wish that World Pilot Hero Award is a great success. This looks great. Wherever you, 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 you choose. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hi, 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 how are because of the impact of climate change, of lives, fortunes, and perhaps futures that are affected. But today, we're bringing forth the bright lives. The people have raised the hope 
that we may be able to solve this dangerous development of our human civilization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a, a very great honor to be here and to speak of perhaps the forefront environmental problem of our globe and knowing that the environment is the basis of our life. Bonsoir. Mesdames et Messieurs, je suis heureux d'être là, d'être invité de cette association, parce que je pense que vraiment la lutte contre le changement climatique devra y avoir plusieurs formes. I have looked through the laureates that you have chosen for these awards and I must say I congratulate you on having chosen men and women of courage, men and women of vision, men and women of action. A lot will be needed to save our planet and one of the ways we can achieve it is to honour those who are making the greatest and the most creative efforts. On behalf of Supreme Master Ching Hai, who is the inspiration of the global channel Supreme Master Television, I am honoured to accept this award. We thank the Environmental Protection Ethiopia, the Government of Guinea-Bissau and the Climate Change Commission of the Philippines for recognising through this special award the solutions most needed at this time. A humble congratulations as well to the other incredible laureates and your meaningful successes in creating a greener and healthier world. We are all here today because we understand that a healthy planet is one comprised of healthy citizens. This life-affirming truth is based on scientific evidence. According to leading climate scientists and numerous studies, an organic meat-free diet would reduce up to 94% of dietary greenhouse gases while saving up to 80% of world government's climate change mitigation costs and sparing countless lives from meat-related diseases and hunger. But no wild animal can change. No wild animal can change what he is. He is there by law. We have now cut the tendons or the supports that support his his being, and we've taken away his his able to survive. And now he's in our hands. It's up to us what we're going to do to save our little creatures. They're crying to us, eh? I think the weight that we have is very heavy and the prize that has been given to me is in recognition of the efforts that have gone not by me alone. I have contributed, but many others have also. We have worked as teams both to try and have a system in the world that is good for us. For the University President Dorothy Hong Kong, November 2008. And she became First Lady, which is an operation on the 20th of January. Um, we also had the chairman. Um, minus 20 hour 20. We came from minus hour 20 to Plus our planet are able to generate attention to the value of action and uh, vision to join together 
in our appeal to stop violence against mankind and Mother Earth. So to all of the awardees, we express our congratulations as well as our appreciation for giving their time, their talent, their compassion, their creative energies. Deeply minded, Playful Taiwan gives little money, give people to reach the government, bigger organizations, celebrities and media. We hope through them we can promote the ideas, no need consumption, but that the written fact. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I was born in mainland China and I currently direct the China Energy and Climate Program at the Washington DC based Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. My apartment is not far away from the White House, so that's why I'm very glad to be here. Hopefully, um, uh, because currently uh, one part of my job is trying to bring both the United States and China to work together to deal with the global energy and climate challenges. They are very much aware, as I said in my remarks a few minutes ago, uh, we've done a great effort to go to uh, cut our carbon emissions, of course, and to uh, work more on clean energy and uh, energy efficiency and, uh, and on clean mobility. And, uh, because we're, as you know, a very urbanized country, and fortunately we don't have a heavy industry. Uh, You're right, uh, our agriculture needs to be sustained and uh, there are methods of making sure that agriculture contributes to emission reduction rather than uh, emission expansion. So we have the development strategy. Thank you. As you said yourself, it's very important. We have uh, people now, Africa is populated by one million, one billion, more than one billion of inhabitants. So in 2050, there will be two billions of inhabitants. If they are not educated, it's, it, we will remain raw material. I, in particular, I would like to congratulate you that you're not waiting for international policy clarity to come at some point, but that you are just jumping in, taking action, and doing the kinds of things that bring benefit to communities on the ground. That is exactly what we all have to do. And my challenge to you is, move out of the pilot phase and into scaling up because honestly we have no time to lose.